Hey guys, today we're talking about the day trips you can go on from Santorini to nearby islands. These are the five islands in question. Now, Santorini has got direct ferry connections with many more islands, but only five of those are possible as a day trip. For all the others, you won't have a ferry to bring you back to Santorini on the same day. And be careful when I say day trip, I don't mean an organized day trip like Meteora or Delphi from Athens, where you're getting picked up and you have a guide with you the whole day. No, that doesn't exist in Santorini. Here it's just basically you booking a round trip by ferry to an island, discovering everything on your own and then coming back to Santorini at night. Just wanted to make that clear. All right, let's start with Anafi. You'll need around one hour and 15 minutes to get there. There's only one village on the island called Hora and it's a very, very cute one. Just so you know, very often the main village on any Greek island is named Hora. So don't be surprised if you keep hearing this name over and over again in this video. Hora just means capital of the island. Anafi is famous for its two monasteries, the monastery of Zodogos Pigi and then the monastery of Kalamiotisa, located at the top of the rock, which is a 20 minute hike from Zodogos Pigi. And since you're at the highest point of the island, the view is unreal. Anafi also has very nice sandy beaches, like Klisili beach you see here. Now, how do you get around the island? Not just for Anafi, but for all those non-touristy islands. Well, don't think it's gonna be like Santorini where you can use buses, taxis, Ubers and so on. On these secluded islands with only a few hundred inhabitants, there's rarely any sort of public transportation in place. There's usually like one or two car rentals on the island and they always have a website so you can easily find them on Google. And if you can't or don't want to rent a car, then either you walk, because, you know, some of these islands are actually very small and can be done on foot. Or what you do is once you arrive on the island, go to the nearest cafe or restaurant. There's always one just next to the port. And there you ask how to get a taxi. And the guy will make a phone call, probably to his brother or whatever, to come and pick you up. And that's usually how it goes on these remote islands. Or you can also try to hitchhike. It's much easier to get picked up on such islands than Santorini or Mykonos. All right, the second island is Forlejandros. The Hora is one of the most iconic ones in the Cyclades. Very, very cute stuff. And it also has amazing beaches like Agali or this one. Look how beautiful this is. But you should know that Folejandros is three hours away from Santorini, which is substantially more than all the other islands in this video. So yeah, that's something worth keeping in mind. Next, we have Sikinos two hours away from Santorini. And just so you know, this is my least favorite of the video. Sure, the Hora is cute, but after you visited it, you're pretty much done. There's nothing else to do there. And that's because Sikinos has never been a tourist destination, not even for Greeks. So nothing is made to entertain tourists there. And since it's a very rocky island, there are hardly any easily reachable beaches you can go to. So yeah, Sikinos, not sure you should be considering that one. All right, next we have Eos, one hour and 15 minutes away from Santorini. Now, Eos is a much more visited island than the three first ones. So over there, you'll find a much more usual situation. So public transport, taxis, lots of restaurants and bars. The Hora is very cute, especially at this viewpoint by the windmills, which is also a great sunset spot, by the way. And then some very nice beaches. I mean, look at the color of that water. And there are even a couple of boat tours that bring you from beach to beach. So yeah, as you can see, Eos has a lot more to offer than the three previous islands we talked about but of course it's also because the island is much more touristy and more crowded so if your idea of a day trip outside of Santorini is to go to a peaceful island with no tourists then I would pick one of the previous ones oh and keep in mind that Eos is the party island for Greeks and other Europeans since we can't afford the prices of Mykonos we go to Eos instead, which is as crazy as Mykonos when it comes to partying, but a million times cheaper. The party season is from early June to mid-September. Outside of that time frame, many places will actually be closed. But since you're there only for one day, I don't think this is a big problem. And finally, we have Naxos, two hours away from Santorini. Now, Naxos is a massive island. It's three times bigger than Santorini. Just to give you an idea, driving from north to south takes one hour and a half by car. 
many people actually visit Naxos for multiple days and so many of you have been asking me to start posting videos about Naxos in the same way that I did for Santorini and Athens. Don't worry, it's coming. But for now, let's focus on what you could do there if you're only on the island for one day. Well, first you have the Hora, of course, which is super colorful. And inside the Hora, there's also the Venetian castle built in the 13th century. Then just outside of the Hora, we have the Portara, which is the island's most famous landmark. And the view at the Hora from there is also something pretty unique. And then you'll also be able to book all sorts of tours food tours, bus tours around the island, catamaran cruises and so on. But yeah, if you're only there for one day, you probably don't have the time for all of that. One important thing to keep in mind though is that the beaches in the area of the port aren't that interesting. The nicer one will require much more time to get to. All right, now that you know what the islands look like, let's see how you can get there. The only way to reach them is by boat. There are no plane connections between any of the islands, not even between Santorini and Mykonos. So ferries are your only option. And now, listen carefully, this is the most important part of the video. If you wanna go on a day trip to one of those five islands from Santorini, it's not possible every day of the week. It's usually only one day per week. For Folejandro, Sitinos and Eos, it's on Thursdays. Anafi is on Saturdays. And Narsos is on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays and Saturdays. And it's only from early June to mid-October. Narsos even less than that. It's from early July to mid-September. But this is only if you want to do it as a day trip from Santorini. If you're okay with spending one night or more on the other islands, then you can go on any weekday you want, any time of the year. The thing is that ferries between islands usually depart in the morning and not many of those boats will also be operating in the evening. So it's easy to sail from Santorini to any other island in the morning, but having a connection bringing you back in the evening that's the tricky part and that's typically only possible one day per week. And of course all these specific weekdays I mentioned for all the islands, those could change over time, so double check this. Where can you double check it? Well on the same website you're gonna use to book those tickets which is ferryhopper.com. That's the one all Greeks use. If you don't like booking stuff online you can also buy tickets in one of the travel agencies in Fira. One example is the Kutros Travel located on the main square of Fira just next to Lucky's Souvlaki. So all in all which islands do I recommend out of the five? Well, to me, the best overall option is Eos. It's only one hour and 15 minutes, which is the shortest duration of all. It has a nice variety of things to do, both relaxing and more active. But in Eos, you won't really feel like you're away from tourism. If that is your goal, then Anafi is the one I recommend. Super quiet, lovely atmosphere. And if you're more into active sightseeing, walking around a lot without any beach breaks, then I would say Naxos. All right, if you wanna know what tours I recommend in Santorini, food tours, scuba diving, photo shoots, all of that, you can click here. And over here, you will find all the day trips you can go on from Athens, including the famous Meteora monasteries, big favorite of mine. And there you go, that's it for today. Hope you liked it. See you in the next one. Bye.